Hey y'all, I'm back again. You know, I told y'all before I had uploaded some videos or tried to upload and they was, something was wrong with them, right? I sure need me some equipment, y'all. But I'm gonna keep, what? Making it happen for myself. And that's what you gotta do. Make it happen for yourself. I'm gonna keep on until I'm able to do better. God damn it, right? So, uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications. Let me tell y'all something. I just talked about yesterday. This is National Women's Month. Yesterday was National Women's Day, International Women's Day. This is National Women's Month. I I just got finished talking about women. We got to do better. Quit being hating on each other and be mad because you got this and I ain't got that and all that foolishness, right? So I'm talking about Nene today, Nene Leaks, right? Of Real Housewives of Atlanta fame. Now, let me say this before I get started. Nene was my favorite of all the housewives. I know I watch all the franchises. Nene was my absolute favorite. Why? She was a black girl. Uh, she come from nothing. She married. She had a husband. They'd been together however many years. Uh, she was raising her boys. Uh, and she and she is the one, I believe, that brought the idea for the Atlanta Housewives to Bravo or whoever you bring it to. And so I was proud of her. I was proud of her and I was happy for her, right? She got on Glee. She got on the Trump show. Uh, what is it? Celebrity Summer? I forgot what it was called. But I used to watch that until Trump totally um, did wrong. But um, she she was on that show that Joan Rivers had, and then she died, and then the daughter was on it, and Nene was on that. Nene was doing a lot of things. She was on Broadway. I was happy for her. Like, go, girl, go, right? But what I think is she got a hit of herself, right? She got a hit of herself, got the big head, and um, just didn't stay humble enough, right? So you blew your shots with Bravo. So now she's mad because Candy got a show, Candy's Game. Now, if y'all remember... Uh, I think Candy came in on the second season. She never liked Candy from the beginning. And I think all these years she might have pretended to like her, but she didn't like her from the beginning. And what I found amazing was that she acted like she didn't know who Candy was. Not in. She, Candy's in Atlanta, you in Atlanta. Everybody know who was Escape. She acted like she had never heard of Escape. That's just like you ain't never heard of SWV or any other 90s groups, right? So she acted like she had never heard of Candy or S or uh, Escape, right? And I was like, that's odd. And so she never really wanted to give Candy her props. Now, I'm going to say this. Candy is a smart businesswoman. She's creative, right? Anything she touched going to make some money off of it. Like, we wasn't checking for Candy. Probably in Atlanta, locally they was, because you know she was already a billionaire. But we wasn't checking for Candy. We ain't nobody thought nothing about Candy until she got on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And, you know, she makes lemonade out of lemons. That situation about the dungeon. She had a dungeon tour that was successful, right? Um, uh, the old lady gang, she got the restaurant. Um, she did something. What else did Candy do? I, I forgot. You know, I said it in my other video, but I don't forgot now. But anyway, let me see that I have my notes. Um, she's done stuff, right? She's done stuff. And, um, now I forgot to turn my, put my, turn my phones off. God dog it. Um, I forgot what else she did. She did something else, you know, and she's used that platform to get money, right? She's used her platform wisely. And you can't be mad at that. Don't be mad at her for doing something that you couldn't do. And you ain't gonna do because I think, um, what I remember is that Candy cussed Candy, not Candy, Nene cussed Andy out and the Bravo staff or the somebody. She said some harsh words. Sometimes you can have words with somebody and it's cool. Sometimes you can have words that's too harsh and it hit too hard and then you, you can't never come back from that. And I think that's what she did, right? And um, Candy knows that she couldn't carry a show, just her and Todd, right? It's just her and Todd and they're not messy people. So she knew she needed a cast of characters. Her aunties is definite characters, and her mama is a definite character, right? Then she got a staff of characters. I don't, if it's an ensemble cast, I don't see anything wrong with the show. I watched it. Y'all watch it and check it out. Tell me what you think down in the comments if you did watch it, right? Uh, it seems like the general manager seems like he's going to be a problem. Then you got somebody messing with somebody. Then I think that one guy is gay. Like it's a, and then you got Don Juan. Don Juan is very quick witted. Like, I don't see anything wrong with what Candy did. Now, so you're mad, and then she's saying that Candy Show didn't get the ratings. Maybe it didn't, but people like me gonna watch it. People that like reality, they, we gonna watch it, right? I've never had a Nielsen box in my home. I don't know how you get one. I need one, because I am a TV head, right? Um, and I can give you good 
uh, review on what and what not, what they need to put out there for the people to watch. Which I ain't never had a Nielsen box and I ain't never knew anybody that had one. So where these get these ratings from, where they get these ratings from, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where they get these ratings from. I got to turn my phone off. I thought I had it off. Um, I did have it off until I, until I, uh, I thought my video was good and then I realized it wasn't, right? This is it, y'all. I'm IT. You know what I'm saying? I'm IT. I'm the cameraman. I'm the light girl. I'm everything, right? And so, um, why? Because I'm making it happen for myself. But anyway, I don't like the fact that you immediately took to Twitter. She took to Twitter and she took to Instagram talking about this girl and that show, right? Why? Why? And, you know, Nene was on a lot of things and they say that she's difficult to work with. You, you, first of all, you should be grateful that you came from nothing and you something. That's number one, right? That's, that's, that's rewarding for anybody. You know, you weren't born with a silver spoon. You weren't born with a spoon, right? And you built yourself up and you, you did all these wonderful things, but then can't nobody be around you because you got a bad attitude. Now, let me tell you, I was going to go, this is when I was in Charlotte. I was going to go to her restaurant slash lounge or whatever, right? I'm proud of her for that. Even though she had been started acting ugly. Nene was one of my favorites and she started acting ugly. And mean, she turned into a mean girl. But anyway, I was going to go to her restaurant, but the reviews were not good. And they said she would be nasty to certain people. And, you know, the food wasn't that great, right? Even though I still follow Instagram, look like they're having a good time in there. But um, I'm not going nowhere. If I, anywhere I look, and if, the review, if, if there's more than two bad reviews, I don't go because it's something to that, especially if it's three, four, five. You know, and then it's like in a plaza, but you got to pay to park. And you got to, I think you got to pay to go in there. Listen, I'm not going to pay you to pay you. I can't afford that. Some people can. I can't not pay you to park and then pay you to go in there and then pay you to eat your food and drink your drinks. Nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. You got to let me on in here and I might spend what I'm going to spend. Like I eat, I don't drink. So I'm not really never going to pay unless I'm with a, on a date or something. I'm never going to pay. I ain't paying to park. I don't want to do that. And I ain't paying to go in no spot, not no $20 or whatever. You know, I, I just ain't doing that. Unless they gonna, it better be me and wall to wall if I pay to go in a spot. It better be a whole bunch of niggas in there. It better be. It better be, right? Um, so I don't, I haven't, that's why I haven't went because they said the food, you know, I've heard bad reviews about the food. Now I'm still happy for her. I ain't throwing no dirt on her, but I'm just saying what I'm saying. Cause I've looked on the reviews. This ain't no social media stuff. This was in the reviews on the Lanithia Lounge, pay, you know, her website and the reviews were not that great. So that's why I have never went. I was all set to go, but I have never went because and I, I probably won't ever go. Um, because of, uh, the reviews, right? So you got to humble yourself. Don't be mad at Candy because she's a wise businesswoman. Stop that, right? Stop that. That's not, that don't look good. Just look bad. Like you, you doing what you doing. You got your nice man already. You, I think she sold her house. She may have another house. I'm not sure. She, I know she living somewhere. I know she ain't homeless. You're not homeless. Like, stop that. Don't be mad. This, this girl has a creative mind. She has a business mind. Everybody don't have that. Don't be mad at her for that. You know, I don't like that. Um, and speaking of what I don't like, and this ain't got nothing to do with Nene, I watched the uh, Ultimate Housewives trip or whatever where they mixed all the housewives together. Ramona showed her ass. Ramona don't need not to be on no show no more. Um, and then she keeps saying, I'm sorry. Like, you know, I told y'all yesterday about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It don't mean nothing to me because you did that. That's what you mean to do. And if you keep doing the same thing, that's what you mean to do. But anyway, Kenya was on there with Cynthia. And Cynthia is such a... I don't know if Cynthia is, Cynthia is sweet or just stupid. She got on the bus with the ladies and then on the Sprinter or whatever and said, you know, I think that we should give um, Kenya the room, the best room because she's going through a divorce. It's the first time leaving her baby. You know, she had a poster. She had a whole setup of why Kenya should get the best room, right? Kenya dogged her from that point on. Kenya didn't want to kick it with her. And then when, as a friend, see, this is what I'm saying about friendships. As a friend... Cynthia wanted to talk about it. Her feelings were hurt. She's sensitive. She wanted to talk about it. And, and Kenya's like, oh, well, I don't want to. I just want to stay on the house. I don't want to go through all that. I don't want to talk about all that. She's not your friend. And I see now, I want to look into it, that Cynthia has a lot to say about the Kenya situation. So I'm going to be commentating on that as soon as I 
uh, read up on it. I'm going to be coming because I didn't like the way that Kenya did her. But Cynthia, see, this is what I don't understand. Cynthia, you knew who she was. But you thought you was going to be a good friend. Let me tell you what Kenya did. Kenya came on there to destroy Nene, right? One alpha to another. So she wanted what Nene had which was Cynthia, her best friend. So she got in between that and destroyed that. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what the show will look like now that Portia's gone. You can't pick on Portia. Cynthia's gone. Uh, Nene's not there. Sheree gonna give you what you look for. Sheree gonna give it to you. Sheree from Cleveland, from Kinsman, okay? She, she gonna give you what you looking for. But um, Faith is not there. You know, so all the people that you didn't pick with, you know, and I, when I think back, the one girl, Kim, I can't think her name with the blonde dress, that was Tootie. She bullied on her so bad. Um, the girl on Fox so she bullied on her. Like, Kitty is not a nice person. Period. And <clears throat> where are her friends at? Where are her friends at outside? Now, I'm anxious to see because Cynthia's not going to be over there with you in Brooklyn. So I'm anxious to see who her friend going to be this time because they say she's beefing with uh, the one girl with the husband. What's the girl's name? I can't think of her name. The one girl. That's the actress. You know, Kenya too old for that. You too old for that, right? They say she bringing the heat, so you just going to... She's not going to be set up to the fact that somebody punch her in her eye. And then they're going to get in trouble because she's going to take it to the full extent of the law because she that's the way she is, right? So anyway, y'all, um, I just want to talk about Nene because I didn't like that, right? Uh, Candy's innovative. She's a businesswoman. Leave her alone. Let her get her coin. And you trying to figure out something. Get you a coin, all right? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, y'all. Um... And get your T-shirts. Get your T-shirts. I'm thinking about something because I'm hungry. Get your T-shirts, right? Everybody stay down. And, um...